They've been working really, really hard on their performance. We had an outstanding rehearsal this afternoon for the entire school. And the kids were fantastic. Uh, we do have a couple of uh, speaking part students who are unable to make it this evening, so we quickly have a couple of understudies who are actually rehearsing their lines right now. So I know you'll bear with them uh, as they enter the stage. Uh, the name of the performance is called Bullies Anonymous, and to set the stage, the bullies are at a Bullies Anonymous meeting and talking about uh, the effects of bullying on people and the negative effects that it has. And there's some kids that still want to be bullies, but hopefully <coughs> during the meeting they will change their ways. So let's give our fifth graders a nice round of applause. Thank you. 
First bully, how's that? It's such a power trip when you're bullying someone and all the kids gather around to watch. You're right, kids will sometimes do that, but they don't really like you. They're just glad it's not them. Maybe, but an audience is an audience, and I love the attention. And let someone who's not a step and help the poor kid I'm picking on. What happens then? It ruins everything. Man, I hate that. Let's give you some advice. When you see, what, see, see someone being bullied, just sit back and enjoy the show. Sure, without you watch this being mean, it wouldn't be any fun. <laughs> Yeah. 
Apex bullies. Alex, Sam, could you step out here for a minute? So, what led you to give up your bully dumb? We just got into too much trouble too many times. It wasn't worth it. Yeah, usually when you're bullying some chick, you can't know when ratting you out. Ratting you out? Yeah, you know, tattling. Kids don't want to report tattling because kids don't like to tell another kid. Even when someone's being hurt, that's not telling. That's helping. It's the law of the schoolyard, man. That's a dumb law. Hey, we bullies completely rely on dumb laws like that. Then we ran into someone who was smart enough to know better. Becky, we're out of this bullying business now for good.
say about this Bullies Anonymous thing? What's that, Jesse? Well, it always comes off like us boys are big losers. Yes, what's your point? Well, we're not all big losers. That's right, kids for us, they respect us. And we've just got fun like everyone else. Well, that's perhaps true when bullies are young, Devin, but as you get older, you get less and less popular. By high school, bullies are pretty much friendless, except for a few other bullies. Next, you'll be telling us we're headed for prison just because we fixed on kids' elementary school? Oh my, no, of course not. In fact, only 60% of schoolyard bullies end up with felony convictions by age 24. <laughs> See, only 60%. That leaves us well. Well, a bunch of percent that down. And then with friends at home. Yeah, I can have friends, but that's so much better about them. <laughs>
lots of ways of dealing with bullies that make them go away. No one should ever have to put up with bullying. And everyone has a right to... Excuse me, so sorry, have I missed everything? Well, we're just wrapping up. Isn't that just my luck? I can really use your help. I have a ter terrible feeling of labels. My personality scares me to death. I was hoping you could give me some good fun. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. My neighbor, of course. But isn't this the meaning of belly phenomenon? No! It's fully Them out the back door so you can pick them up right outside the